You just take your time, Rose, whenever you're ready. It's been 84 years. Holy sh! I'm old. Grandma, maybe we should take a break. No, no, I've got this. Well, Mr. Lovett thought he should bring in some other survivors to help jog your memory. Rose, this is- I know who they are. That's right, it's us. We're back, you stupid bitch. No! You've aged horribly. Grandma, are you okay? Titanic was called the ship of dreams, but these three made it the ship of hell. Is everything to your liking, Matems? No, this suite is small. Yeah, if this boat is so big, why aren't the suites? It's a ship. Oh my god, just find us a bigger suite. But this is the biggest suite on the- Then tell those people next door to give up their suite. But- Go! Wow. Are we gonna have to deal with this kind of service the whole trip, Sarasley? No one told us we'd be on the rude Tannic. Excuse me. Hi, I'm Rose. You must be the Cardassians. We're neighbors. Not for long. We're taking your suite. But what's wrong with the suite? What's that accent? What accent? Look, this suite isn't big enough. We need more space. Well, I'm sorry, but we're not giving up our room. Do you know who we are? We're like super rich. So am I. Listen, Tumbleweed. Rose. You don't want to get on our bad side, so be a good little girl and give us your suite. No, you're gonna regret saying that. Enjoy your voyage. F*** you. This ship is unsinkable, Officer Spears. I agree, Captain. No, I mean it. Nothing can take this bitch down. Yep. Not fire, not ice, not storms, not ice. You said ice already. I know. That's how confident Captain Dinika Minash is about the Titanic. I see. This ship is never going down. I feel like you just jinxed us. <laughs> uh, is it just me? Taking that beautiful ocean air, girls. Isn't it amazing? Dogs are literally taking a sh right below us. Oh, I thought that was just Chloe's breath. Why do you stupid bitches always have to ruin the moment? Speaking of ruining the moment, I only came out here for fresh air. Wait, what is that smell? Chloe's breath. F you, Courtney. Can't you go get fresh air somewhere else? You already stole our suite. I didn't steal your suite. Look, I just needed to get away from my family. They're... They're what? I think she's gone mute. Hallelujah. Sorry, it's just... I think that good-looking man below is staring at me. He's not looking at you. He's looking at me. me. You're mistaken. He's clearly looking at me. I know when a man is looking at me. It's usually because they've never seen an ass the size of a car. You're all wrong, because he's looking at me. He's blinded by my beauty. You know what? Why don't we just ask him? Fine. Great. Another good thing I've lost in my life. You are so depressing. So not watermelon. Showtime. Oh no! I'm suddenly on the wrong side of the railing! I... I said I'm on the wrong side of the railing! Oh my god, do you hear that screaming? Yeah, where is it coming from? If I'm not careful, I just might fall. Wait, that voice sounds familiar. I need a strong, strapping young man to help me back onto the other side. What the hell are you doing? I'm busy, go away. Wait, are you pretending to be a damsel in distress? You're so thirsty. None of this concerns you. Climbing over a ship's railing to get a guy is so 1890s. I don't need your opinions on- Don't do it. 
need help. Ladies, help her. A man's help. I need a man's help. Wait, you're the one I saw earlier, on the upper deck. Yeah, you were the one next to the dog sh Wow. Every time. She gets them every time. I'm going back to bed. Same. Um, I could use some help. Shut up. What's your name? Jack Dawson. I'm Courtney. And I'm Rose. No one asked. Okay. It's getting pretty late. I'm tired. Good night. Hope to see you again soon. Now that they're gone, can you help- <gasps> Help! So tell me about yourself, Courtney. No. That's cool. I like a little bit of mystery. You know, when we totally don't sink and make it to Sim York, I can teach you how to ride a horse. Horses are stupid. You're just saying that because you ride side saddle. I'll teach you how to ride the proper way. You mean like a dude? Yeah, I'll teach you how to ride like a dude, how to talk like a dude, how to spit like a dude. I, I've always wanted to learn how to spit like a man or dude. That's f***ing gross. What do you say, Jack? Can you teach me? Um, maybe some other time. Oh, come on. I'm sure it wouldn't take long. Here, I'll show you how far I can spit. The winds are blowing kind of strong. Oh, sh Did you just spit on me? Come back here, you stupid bitch! Courtney, you chef asketh your male suitor if he would liketh to accompany our party to supper. What? Ask if you're- Speak Simlish. Oh my god, ask Jack if he wants to go to dinner with us. I'd love to. Why didn't you just say that? I was trying to speak like proper high class, Courtney. You sound high. Why must we eat with her? The rich always eat together, babe. You know that. She also invited herself. Yes, well, I wanted to formally apologize to Chloe and Mr. Dawson for my behavior earlier. I'm usually not like that. Apology accepted. F your apology. Please, sweetie, no fighting at the table. So, Jack, aren't you like, what is it? It's that one word where people have less than a million dollars. Porridge. Do you mean poor? Yeah, poor. Yep, I'm completely poor. You have to have at least 100 grand on you, right? Nope. Oh my god, how do you live without that kind of pocket change? One day at a time, ma'am. One day at a time. You sleep on dirt, don't you? It's good for the skin. I bet you eat with rats. They make great dinner guests. All of your clothes probably smell. My middle name should be Skunk. You're trash! I... It was a joke to go along with- I can't believe you said that. Don't listen to her, Jack. It's okay. I've heard worse. No, no, I don't actually think you're trash. I was just trying to say- You've said enough, Burp. Anything we can do to make it up to you? Well, we can go have some fun at a real party. This is the party? Come on up here, Courtney. No. I'll join you. You are so annoying. Spin me, Jack. Uh, okay. Isn't this fun? Wait. I could do this all night. You're slipping. I'm what? You're... Ah! Look, Courtney, I know I don't have much to offer. You're right. But there's something about you. Us. I think we're meant to be together. Mm-hmm. Can I show you something at the rail? No. But you'll feel like you're flying and- I hate flying. It's really romantic. Oh my god, shut up. Ugh. Look at that. No wind and smooth sailing. Yes. Did you get the message earlier about the icebergs? Yeah. But shouldn't we change course? <laughs> no, we're fine. For now, but the other ships have warned us that- This ship is unthinkable! How many times do I gotta tell you? I'm only using logic, so 
everything will be fine. What the f***? It's freezing up here. It's pretty bad at night. What do you even do in a crow's nest? Where are the crows? Uh, it's a metaphor, but I keep watch. There's nothing to see. Do you ladies mind keeping lookout? I've got to use the gents. Whatever. Just ring the bell if you see something, right? Okay. What a boring job. I know, right? What are we supposed to do again? Yell? No, it's ringing something. Oh yeah. What the hell was that? I think we just hit an iceberg. What? An iceberg. We're gonna sink. Oh sh I'll get the lifeboats ready. We don't have enough for them, by the way. Yeah. Rose, what are you doing? I've been trying for days to get your attention, and nothing. Why? You're not my type. Well, too bad. We're gonna end it together. You sink, I sink, right? Wrong. <gasps> Courtney, you came to save me. I just happened to be coming this way. You have to take these cuffs off of me. Find a key. I have an axe. Even better. I trust you, Courtney. You can do this. Oops. Courtney! Courtney? I don't see her. Keep looking. Courtney! Okay. Where were you? We've been looking for you. I was with Jack. I just killed him. What? It was an accident. Where's our family? They got on the lifeboats. We didn't want to leave without you. We love you. They said your asses were too big, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. Knew it. We need to get to the deck. Oh my god, I told you. I told you this ship could sink at any given moment. Especially against ice. My shit. Look on it. Go f yourself. I just want to say, I love you, stupid bitches. And I want to say, you still owe me $20 for those dresses I bought you both. We paid you back already. Not for the damages. It's not our fault our asses broke the same. I want my money. How did you survive in the water? I used them as floating devices until we found a door to float on. And you, Rose? Luckily, I awoke quickly after that heathen knocked me out and was able to get to a lifeboat. Oh, whatever. You survived. Barely. I lost the love of my life thanks to the three of you. Still thirsty, I see. He belonged to me. Pick an accent. I only have one accent. I will never forgive you three for what you did. Never. He wasn't even a good kisser. Go check out our latest Jim. video and shout out to our channel member, Jim. Magnus. GM Productions. Sim. GM Productions. Sim. GM Productions.